So let's crack it open and see what we got. We'll be filming a lot with this thing. That wasn't the best line. But we got the Crater Edition. Uh, this is a big upgrade. I guess I have a Hero 4. So this is the one that you can live stream with this. So this is a good Play my dad's music, so it would be nice to be able to live stream the songs. Oh, this is what you get. Okay, when you crack it open, you get this guy right here. I'm sure there's much better versions of open box videos online. Like some paperwork that you get explains what's going on. Right, this is what you get. I got a box within a box. I also got uh give me a memory card. It's kind of nice. That's a good. I don't know why you get an envelope, but I guess you can. Maybe I'm supposed to write them back and be like, hey. probably fell out of the envelope that makes sense okay so that probably goes in the envelope and it just fell out all right so 32 gigs to start this is the best memory card to use for these uh, like I said this is not the best open box video around but that's why I'm the jackass of all trades right okay cool there's the GoPro. This is the Creator Edition. And so you get some stickers there. It's got stickers all over the place. That's kind of cool. Stickers, GoPro stickers. I like to have stickers for my guitar. So I'm going to try to. Can I get these easily? I might be able to save them, put them on the guitar. If I can, I will. So, you got these little stickers. I guess you could just rip into the package if you wanted to. It's not really a rip it into the package kind of guy. I like to take my time. But I'm not doing a good job with these stickers. So, these stickers, probably not going to be able to put these on my guitar case. But that's okay. Crater Kit, GoPro Hero Black Crater Edition. So that's kind of cool. So we'll move this paper. This is just paper now. Move that out of the way. Now you have the Hero Black Crater Edition. This is going to have the Volt Voltron, maybe? I'm not sure what it's called. Something like that. I had to look. Volta. That's what it's called. Volta. Comes with the Hero Black itself, comes with the media mod, comes with the light mod, which helps on lighting. But this one, uh, it live streams, which is really cool. The previous one I had, you couldn't make it live stream. So you can live stream your life, so to speak, with this thing, if you are interested. Okay, to open it, looks like you gotta open from the bottom. There's like a tear tab. Alright, I own it now. I bought this. GoPro didn't send this to me. I, uh, I bought this with my own money because I wanted to get one that live streams. So I've been wanting to get a live stream one for a while. Uh, I think they've been live streaming since the GoPro Hero 8. But... So 
first time I was able to afford one. So there you go. That's cool that it comes with a box. The previous one had like a glass tower kind of thing. And it didn't have like a box. So it's cool you get one with a box. This is the creator one, so I don't know if the standard one would come with a box, but the creator one does. Must be updated before you can use it. Okay, so you crack it open and it tells you immediately that you need to update uh, your GoPro Creator Edition. So we will go about and do that. There's also some other instructions in here. This is pretty nice. This feels like a pretty good box. It doesn't feel like this is your standard important production safety instructions kind of deal. This is kind of just telling you how things work, I guess. Looks like you can pull the tab off. The previous one I had was like a, the battery cover is like a rubber piece. So they've changed that to make it hard plastic. Hey, all right, there we go. Well, that's the mother load right there. Those are cool. Man, that's tough, all of them are different. So that's cool that they upgraded that, the housing to where it's not plastic. Any more pro tips for best performance in the cold weather? Wow, interesting. So it gives you cold weather tips. If you have some product uh, questions, you can chat with the experts at gopro.com slash answers. I find GoPro's customer service to be pretty helpful. You know, I've asked questions and they're very, the people on chat are very knowledgeable. I asked questions leading up to this one. I didn't know if I should get the um, standard Hero or the standard GoPro 11 or if I wanted to try the whole this right here, which this is so this is your standard GoPro 11 that you would get right here out of the, out of the box. I guess I'll pull this out first. Uh, this is like a media mod, okay? So let me now, now I can get actually I can't. Okay, let me how do I get this? Okay, here's your GoPro camera. So this is the GoPro camera that is the same for this and for the 11. It is the exact same camera. The only difference is the Creator Edition comes with all the extra accessories that you're seeing here, which is pretty neat. Uh, your GoPro 11 uh, camera must be updated before you can use it. It says all these different uh, things like that. So you get this piece of paper surrounding your camera. So I guess we'll try to pull that off. And then when we do that, we'll be able to get to all the memory card slots and the charger and whatnot, which would be cool. Oh, check this out. Oh, that's neat. Previously, these were, oh wow. You had to like, uh, like the, hmm. on the previous cameras, you had to use this and the tabs weren't like that. The tabs were designed with the housing but now they have the tabs built in. That's pretty cool. It looks like you could probably replace them too. There's four little screws there. I think if something breaks, you actually can buy a new tab here. Previously, you'd have to buy like a new housing for your camera. Okay, you got mode here, 11 black. I don't know if they have a silver version or not. I had a GoPro Hero silver. I guess I need to read the instructions. Okay, I don't really know. Looks like there's something there. That looks like how it would open, right? Oh man, I don't want to mess it up. Oof. Okay, well, we'll come back to that. Uh, I can pull, I can pull these stickers off, but I'll just set them to the side for a second. I'll figure that out. All right, this is the media mod. This is like what you can use to attach uh, your light, which I guess is this right here, or also a microphone, but I guess it's got a built-in microphone, so you don't really need to add the microphone, that's kind of cool. I had a Rode mic I was planning to attach to this, but with this right here, if that mic is a good quality, I don't think I need to do that, so that's pretty cool to hear. I didn't like the sound from the, I'm coming from a GoPro Hero 4, and that came in a casing that's kind of waterproof. So because of that, this kind of old housing 
for the GoPro, you see how the tabs are already built in. So uh, the thing about this is it's like pretty nice, but it really deadens the sound. It makes it sort of sound like almost impossible. So with the GoPro Hero 4, it's actually better to just get a frame that doesn't you know, have any kind of sound. But then you got an issue because I never found a frame that had like a, uh, a place to add a mic by default. So that's kind of cool that they really thought all that out with that media mod. <clears throat> Show what I'm talking about. This is what the previous model looks like as opposed to the, to the new one. You see you don't have the tabs built in like you do with, with the older model. You don't have that at all. So that's kind of interesting how that is. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit wider, but they use the same memory card, from what I can tell. The sand disk is a pretty good size. Uh, but this one, a live stream, and then you get that one to live stream. So this is where the rubber piece goes. It's also a micro um, USB, and this is USB-C, so a little more future-proof, I would say. You also, you know, there's more stability options and whatnot in this. So let's take a look at that, the size difference. So this is only going to work with the newer ones because it's got to be USB-C. So that lets me know there is a way to definitely get this off. I just haven't figured that out. It seems like you would pull there. I don't know. That does seem like that's pulling, but I don't want to... I don't know. That's got to be it, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's it. So that's... Ah, okay. So you pull down, and then there's that. Ah, okay. And then that's where your battery is going to go. That makes sense. And that's where your USB-C port goes, so that's why that would plug in there. So I assume this probably just comes off. Yeah, that's what they're talking about in the instructions. You can pull that off or you can pull that on. So that will pull off. I assume you need to put your battery in first and then slide it into this in order to get that part of it to work. So we'll see. Oh, check this out. Look, they were smart enough. You got the holes here, so after you slide it in, I don't really know how you attach it. I guess that's probably where you attach it, but we probably got to put a battery in it first, I would think. Okay, so there's that. Move that to the side. Let's put this back on this so we don't lose it by the time being. Yeah, that's interesting. You just pull that down. Imagine, ooh, you're going to have to be careful with that. These cameras are waterproof, but you got to make sure that everything's snug. I doubt everything else is waterproof. I don't think you want to get uh, every, anything else wet. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look a little deeper here what we got. Uh, this is the camera. Oh, this is the light. Okay, first time I've ever seen a GoPro light. So, yeah, you wouldn't be able to attach this to a camera directly, like either of these cameras. That's where the media mod comes in. And that works just sliding it in like that. And then that's how you get that to stay on there. That probably goes on there a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, and then now you got a power button. So you, you still get to that one. So that's good that they didn't. I don't know what that's about. I had to read, you know, more. This is just more of an unboxing with all you get. I don't really know all the particulars. It is going to be different. Uh, okay, this is the battery here. It's a newer battery that they have. This is, uh, uh, I believe these charge a little bit longer, uh, maybe 20% longer than the standard batteries. So the standard batteries look like, let me pull this off. Standard batteries look like this. So, or at least a GoPro 4 battery. So you can tell there's a pretty big difference there and the battery sizes, so I doubt you probably wouldn't be able to, yeah, that wouldn't even fit in there, so you couldn't do that. But yeah, this is going to last a little bit longer than the newer batteries. Oh, it's got the same little tab, too, so you can pull it in and out, just like the previous model. So that would go in there, like so. Now see, so you close that. There's a little plastic piece that goes on, which is the equivalent of the cover of that. So this right here, gonna pull this down and then this is gonna slide in there and slide this in here you're gonna line up them little lines 
and maybe it's got a diagram. There's probably only one way it's gonna fit, which I would think is like this, maybe? Yeah, like that. And it looks like that's where your memory card goes. So there's also, your memory card slot is there. So let me It's nice that it comes with the 32. So, it seems like the sand discs are the best ones, sand disc extremes. I've tried some other memory cards. Uh, they do sometimes have issues though more, but I haven't had any issues with this kind. Okay, so you gotta put that in the other way. Should just push push that in, and it should just automatic. But it should hmm. it should automatically push in if you got it in the right way. I might not have it in the right way. Let me let's try it again. Right, let's try it again. <laughs> let's, see what, let's do this. Well, well, maybe we need to pull that thing out. Okay, I think I'm gonna pull this out first and then try to see how I can get this in here we did that last time so let's try it this way this time see if that works no that's not the way to do it that must be the way to do it okay you just really gotta push it down in there and then it'll get stuck so so now that was like so Alright, cool. <clears throat> now we can put the top back on this guy. Push it down. Oh, we gotta pull it. That's tricky. That is tricky. What is up? <clears throat> okay, there we go. That's in there. All right, cool. So that's set up. But like I said, you're gonna have to update it first. Your camera must be updated before you can use it. So we'll update it. You probably do that online. Uh, I know with the previous models, you can actually sync them to your phone too, and you can look at the camera settings and everything that way. It's pretty nice. Okay, so this is the. What is this called? Bolta, I believe is what this is called. Right, let's get this. Let's see. Do we get anything else? Oh wow! Holy sh! Yeah. Okay. Wow. There's a whole another layer of stuff. This is like candy. Okay. Uh, these are clamps that will go on to, you know, to hook onto your camera. Wow. This is crazy. You get. Is that a microphone? Man. Oh, don't mess that up. Okay. So looks like you get a USB. C to USB A, another USB C to USB A, uh, clamp. This is like for flat, something flat. That's that's how that screws into there. You got what is this? This is like good for like a helmet, something round on top. I've got a bicycle helmet I use for shows. And it, that's, that's the one I got attached to it. There's another like flat one, but this one, the difference here is this one's a little lower. So this would be good. You could put this on like your chest or something like that, maybe. That gives you a little bit more room to work with. That is a, wow, that's a, that's crazy. And I get that out. Wow, look at that. It actually has its own mic. That's so cool. Wow. That is so neat. This is really neat. This is really, I guess you get a little bit of everything. Yeah, it fits right in there. Wow. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, it clips, oh, it clips in. Okay, cool. So yeah, okay, so you can like build this piece by piece. This might be the coolest Lego set I've ever gotten in my life. I'm <laughs> buying myself Legos as an adult. That's awesome. Um, I'm not quite sure, oh. You know what that is? That makes... There we go. That makes sense. So this... 
pull this back out. This looks like this is probably an adapter. Oh. Hmm. Okay, never mind. Uh, this is made for lenses and whatnot. So, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, so you could attach that to something different if you wanted. I guess you could, in theory, attach that to that if you wanted. Huh. Interesting. It's interesting that it gives you that. And then, this is a spare cover. I wonder if you need... So that's definitely thicker than this cover. That's tricky. Ooh, that's tricky. So that's the equivalent of this. But I don't know why they give you this. Let's see here. Let's see if we can figure this out. Uh, Alright, what is this? This is a cover, just like the other. And it clips on just like the other. And it can come down. It closes a lot easier. I don't know if that's the... Uh, maybe you need that for... Looks like that would not fit in there. So I don't quite know what that would be for. Looks like you hold something on it. Uh, I don't know. I don't quite get it. Okay, well, we can pop this off. Now, ooh, ooh, there we go, all right. So we're gonna pop this guy off. This one's a little tricky to get off. But it's the first time you've opened it. So the first time you do anything, you're dealing with plastics that are, you know, in perfect condition. So they're gonna be a little more ornery. And it's just like an action figure. If you buy an action figure, you gotta like loosen it up a little bit sometimes. Okay, cool, so this is everything you get. You get quite a bit of stuff. Man, that's really cool. I get it now. I think this right here, this Volta looks like it's got a side adapter. Yeah, okay. So that, I'll bet you it goes on that, maybe? There's a way you could attach that to that, I'll bet, and have a light on the side, if you want. Or a mic on the side, an extra mic, something like that. Uh, this is pretty well made. Okay, so you put that back down. This is almost Swiss Army knife-ish. And it's, uh things you can do with it here. Okay, so this is the main apparatus that you're buying. This can turn into a tripod, for one. Oh wow, look at that. So you can tripod if you want. So that's pretty good for, you know, at an open mic, if you're at a table, you just leave it there. And it looks like you can also screw it onto a tripod to make it more stable if you want. Of course, you got your arm strap, which not mess it up but it's always handy so you can like walk around with it I don't know if it extends that would be cool looks like you do have you have power options Bluetooth looks like it gives you a lot of controls for the actual GoPro itself right on the on the stick which is really handy because it's tough the, the little screens are kind of hard to see everything that's going on so so yeah, this is basically, you get a pretty good amount of stuff here. Creator Edition is pretty cool. It looks like I need to go pro and I need to install some stuff and take care of some stuff as far as... Uh, but yeah, I plan to do a lot of filming with this. So we'll still film with the GoPro Hero 4. Uh, but it's going to be, you know, more of a home cam situation. Nice. You should be able to live stream with this, and then it should also film a version of it on the GoPro. So if your live stream like doesn't look that great, in theory you should have a version of it that's like really good with this. And the nice thing with this, the Hero 4 always puts out good footage, but then you have to like take the time to edit and all that kind of stuff to make sure the footage is right. So I'm hoping that with the new one, be less editing time. Maybe the live streams will just look good from the get go. Uh, you know, go from there. Just keep following along on the channel, and uh, you'll find out the footage is going to be on the channel, so you can look at it right now. I'd like to thank GoPro for making awesome cameras. You know, they didn't send me this, but 
technically they sent me this, but I paid for it. But thank you for making awesome cameras and I don't know, you inspire uh, filmmakers, I think. You, ins you inspire people who don't make films to make films, maybe, which is really cool. It's hard to get anybody inspired by doing anything. So thank you for inspiring me. And I hope you guys follow along on the channel. This is a Jackass of All Trades open box video. And thanks for watching. You guys be well. Thank you.